Yes, I got this idea from Simo. And honestly, the idea of this sounds great for a few reasons. Think about it. Yu-Gi-Oh! has been out for over 25 years. We have more than 10,000 unique cards. Yet a lot of times, we never really use them. So why not restrict ourselves to the first 10 packs and build a deck and upgrade with new cards along the way? For those who are familiar with each win, whether it be an actual win or a surrender, we will allow ourselves to buy a new pack. And of course, the legacy packs we obtain are fair game as well. We will then use the new cards we obtain from our packs and we'll upgrade our deck to hopefully something more playable as time moves on. How far will we go? Well, only time will tell in this pack Russian series. Yep. Back at bronze. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to it, right? We'll get back to it. Ooh, they got a thick deck and uh, I don't blame that. Interesting. So they have 10 extra deck and a 60 card main deck. Very interesting. So unfortunately, this hand is kind of a, a little bit rough, to be honest with you. Uh, so I think we're just going to set and... I mean, if we draw into another Battle Wasp, what, like, what is that really going to do? If we draw into a Tuner, it might give us some kind of utilization. But we have to, like... Unfortunately, we can't really do that. Uh, we're just going to pass turn. Because, like, we could have specialed after we normal stun if we draw into something. But the problem with that is we can only summon insects, which we don't really have in our extra deck. My money is betting that they probably play Cyber Dragons, so them going second, but also us not having a monster on board could be nice. Cup of A's? Uh, I would love to draw two, please. Please give me two. Please give me two. This would be infinitely better. Ah! No, that's fine. It might just be the fact of being in bronze, but I feel like we're seeing a lot more Cup of Aces. Lightning Storm. They really have trust issues with my back row. I'm not happy about it. That's <laughs> gotta happen, unfortunately. The only reason why I would see them that they would want to go for a Lightning Storm is they're pretty confident they can go for an OTK or just quite a bit of damage. Or if it's a bot, it's just programmed to like... Math Mac Diameter. We're gonna be here a while. Uh, they don't actually have any targets, though. Do they have anything in the hand they could just special summon with? Uh, once per turn, the turn of special summon. Oh, that's actually pretty solid, actually. Uh, they're setting one. Two. Bad total phase. I mean, it's a level four tuner cyber, so there's a lot of utility they could probably get out of it. Yeah, that's fine. Honestly, if we don't draw into, like, anything that, like, kind of it works with our favor, we'll probably just summon the Battle Wasp, equip it with the Bashing Shield, and then attack for 3k overall. Um, assuming that this doesn't obstruct us. Uh, give me... I don't know. Just give me something fun. Schlag! I mean, uh... More Schlag could be kind of good. Uh... We just need to get, like, a... They special summon something that, yeah, I mean, sure. Why the fudge not? Why the f... No, that's fine. Uh, normal summon's good. Uh, we'll equip with the Bashing Shield. Uh, we'll also equip with the Morschlag too. Uh, just because if they do end up special summoning some stuff, we can not be affected by it. And during, during damage calc, we're just gonna get a lot more attack. So we're gonna give it to one of these. So... Sure, we're not getting them like any benefit on this, but it's fine. Uh, praying that this doesn't slip in our favor. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Duel Link's concerns. What if they have drowning? Don't tell me it's actually drowning. I was just kidding. Oh, call the haunted. Okay, that's that's better. Uh, yeah, 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 that's, that's, oh, shit, yo, this is good, <laughs> because of this guy, yeah, yeah, that's fine, we're gonna get more attack, yes, replay, because now it's a special summon monster, give me, give me, <laughs> uh, so good, so good, all right, uh, main two, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're, yeah, what's best turn, <laughs> that's actually kind of cool. Reload. Interesting. Between the cup of ace and the reload, I, I'm 
not sure. Like, they're playing 60 cards. Uh, so wouldn't it just be better to play less cards and have better consistency? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. A face down. Interesting. Hmm. Another face down card. Hmm. I'm hoping we at least can draw some more monsters so we're not leaving ourselves like a wide open if something goes wrong. Clockwork Knight. Oh, it's not... It's not bad. Uh, it kind of allows us to be able to search out for Battle Brawl if this thing goes to the grave and just makes our monsters stronger. Uh, yeah, and I mean, we can always discard the Rock Spear too to search if something goes wrong. Uh, and more attack is not a bad thing. You can send, oh, Bit Trooper. Gotta say, I do like the art for this little guy. Looks so cool. Anyway. Uh, we're going to swing for 25. Uh, we're actually doing, this is actually looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good. They have two cards in the back row, two cards in hand. They even got the Cup of Ace and the Reload. Uh, come on. How are the cards? Don't fail me now. Yeah, let's, uh, we're, we're probably good now just to safe to just, uh, swoop in. Like, literally swoop in, float like a butterfly, sting like a battle wasp. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Uh, sweet, sweet. All right, cool. Uh, starting strong. Uh, we'll set this if something goes wrong. I doubt it, though. Nothing was actually being prompted, so... Boop! Oh! Oh, and to attack position? Oh, they're not dead yet, unfortunately. You target to sell them. No! What? Ah! Oh, that's fine. Uh, I mean, you know what? I wasn't meant to be happy anyway. It's fine. Uh, we can still summon Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede. God damn it. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. All right. Uh, and I guess also the Rock Spear becomes live at this those of the grave. I wonder if they're just playing Masochist or something, too. Uh, but then again, there's a bit more cybers focus onto it, so maybe not. Maybe they're just like playing some amalgamation of like uh, cybers. Okay. <laughs> Torrential's at three, right? <laughs> Torrential's at three. Oh, Megamorph. Doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Uh, yeah, there's really not much I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. We'll just swing for twenty-three. My flying Pegasus railroad stampede about the stampede D. No, it's fine. Uh, yeah, we could just bastard. Uh, we want to hold on to the Megamorph in case I actually do on the offsite chance to bring out something big. We can equip it to the Megamorph and then just summon the Rock Spear to attack over it. But I really do like this card because you can use it defensively and aggressively too. Just depending on your life point total. Uh, Draconet. Oh, okay. They can summon a uh, normal monster from the hand or deck. Which ain't good for us, because now they have enough monsters like facilitating some link plays. Uh, Digitron. A subspecies found in the electronic space. There's little information on it. So he doesn't have a lot of bite. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Oh, they're going for a one. Is it Link Spider? Because that's a... Yeah, it is Link Spider. Interesting. Uh, what's Patricia can target a Nola of a level four normal? That card. Oh, okay. Uh, are they going to go for the special summoning effect with Link Spider? Parallel like Seed. Oh, wow. They're actually going to start popping off. Yeah, they're actually going to start popping off. Yeah, and they can special summon another Parallel Seed if they have another one from the deck. Uh, depending on if they have like a something that negates, we'd be in trouble. But it really just depends. Deco Talker, yo, starter deck main. Let's, uh, that's fine. Uh, but why Deco Talker? It's gonna lose the uh, attack anyway. It has no cards that it's pointing to. I'm kind of glad we actually put it in this spot, by the way. Then a whole lot of a uh, just, just attack my flank because it's railroad stampede, please. Just, just attack. Yeah, there it is. All right. They, they kind of realized, they're like, uh, but honestly, they should have probably played it out just so they can get the experience and whatnot. But yo, we'll take it. Uh, bronze tier four, here we come. Uh, no legacy packs? 
That's fine. We'll jump into and grab our pack. All right, I can feel it. This is going to be a good pack. I can feel it. Commons, I'm praying on you. Ooh. Uh, the Phantom Knight of Wrong Magnetrine? Uh, what? Oh, okay. Uh, that's not terrible. I mean, it's basically a negate attack for one attack, and then it special summons it as a monster. So that's not terrible. Perform a power on synchron. If only we actually had a use of ways of utilizing it. It's a scale six though, so if we actually do introduce like a pendulum summoning mechanic, he would be viable for that. Uh, it just basically increases. Uh, it's basically for performer pal not eyes. The forces of darkness. Nope. As much as I would love to play dark worlds. Uh. Oh, interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. So. You can special summon any dust and monsters of your choice from your hand or deck to anywhere in the field, but it must special summon unequal numbers on each side of the field. This thing sucks now because of Link summoning. Oh, shit. Dimension Slice. This is actually a good rare from Galactic Overlord. So if you special summon a card, you can banish a monster on the field. That's pretty good. Uh, and if we exceed someone, we can actually use it to turn it set. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, uh, boot up soldier. Dead weight. Uh, it is an earth machine, but it's attack. Uh, I'm sorry. It's attack is just abysmal. The Condemned Maiden. Uh, well, that's... Eh, not bad. Emergency, emergency, rescue to rescue. <laughs> I fucking love this artwork. I've never seen this card before. Uh, let's see. Reveal three with 100. Oh, it's kind of cool. It basically is a rescue cat searcher, rescue rabbit searcher, rescue ferret searcher. Yo, they're even saving this little hedgehog. Oh, I love it. All right. Uh, Dimension Slice is definitely probably the MVP that... uh. The, uh, whatchamacallit, um, yeah, we don't have any legacy packs, unfortunately. The, um, Phantom Knight card is not bad either, but for now, we're definitely going to introduce the, uh, Dimension Slice. So we'll do some deck edits here really quick. I, uh, <laughs> I didn't know what to really take out, so I just threw it in. 41 cards. Uh, consistency should be fine. Uh, the percentage adjustment for the likelihood of drawing certain cards is probably not too... Terribly big, so <laughs> next duel. Their uh, field seems pretty sweet. It's a real trait to look at. Well, I might like own all, all of the board with puns today. We can do a draw. We can discard, draw, and then we can special summon an Earth from our GY. So that's not terrible. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could start off with um. I wouldn't mind having the draw though. So this is going to be a bit weird. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to set the Needle Wall. We're then going to use uh, Vera Seraph's effect. We'll discard the Shadal Genius. So you can at least draw a card. I don't want to get the Bear Rock Dragon. Because Bear Rock can just special summon himself if something happens to Shadal Genius. Prayer of the Jirai Gumo. Not too shabby. All right, so it seems like most opponents typically go for this column. So we're going to set the Prayer of the Jirai Gumo there and pass turn. I love it. They're, uh, <laughs> their field screams uh, Candyland, but their sleeves scream uh, Osiris. Slyfa, the executive producer. Uh, they're playing a 40 card, 15 main. All right, or extra. Yeah, I kind of figured they were playing uh, Dragon Main because of the main. Uh, if you could, uh, can, this is like, what, the Foolish? Is that right? Uh, yeah, it's a Foolish. Uh, unfortunately, Gumo isn't gonna give us a lot of value. That's fine. He banishes card. Uh, sure. It's good because it doesn't negate the effects either. It's a lot of the Dragon Mages have, like, an on summon effect. Yep, kind of figured as much. Nope. Uh, Prey is fine. Rawr. Sorry. There's a lot of time in between these duels where nothing's happening. So I gotta find something to entertain myself with. <laughs> Dragon Paint's fine. Uh, it's special summons from the... Yeah, the GY. Sure. Changeover. Okay. Uh, kind of hoping they go for this column, but we're gonna see what actually happens. We do have needle ceiling too. 
And then if we can actually get their thing in the graveyard, we can just take it back with the Thomas Action Unit. Please use your hand. Please. Yes! All right, cool. Uh, that's not doing anything. That's not doing anything either. House Dragon May. Please don't have a negate. Uh, we need to read. Oh, cool. Uh, Needle Sailing. Let's get it. Nah, that's fine. Yeah! All right, cool. Uh, ooh, it has 3k. Uh, we also use Bear Rocks Dragon Effect now. I really like this because this just puts us in a really good position because they have one card and I'm pretty sure they have, uh, yeah, like not really anything they can really do. I mean, sure, they can banish the uh, changeover, uh, but they need to have a dragon main. They already used their normal summon. Yes. All right. Uh, depending if we draw into a monster, we can win this turn more than likely. Oh, that is good. All right, cool. All right, uh, we're going to use Autominous Action Unit. So use Autominous Action Unit. It's actually one of the better cards we're probably going to draw just for its attack stat alone. Pay the 15. We're going to take, yeah, the Dragon Mane, uh, Fusion Monster. Uh, we're going to use Jirai Guma later, probably, for its attack stat alone. Uh, special Summon it. Yeah, does it say it has to be into um, defense mode? So let's see. This puts us, us at f not enough. So we got 53, and then that's 7K. So yeah, we need Gumo. Put him into attack position. Uh, and then we're going to go to combat. <laughs> and then we swing. Oh, man. Thank goodness it's not Gores or anything. But hell yeah. Let's go. Back to back W's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You see what you're doing. Totally awesome. All right. Cool. Uh, moving on up in the world these days. Uh, tier three. Please give us some legacy packs. Four! Oh, game, you're spoiling me. All right, time to get some packs. We're going to start off first with our master pack. Please, something good. We got an SR. Come on, please. Out of the cards. Guide me for RNG. Uh, Secrets of Dark Magic. Yo, if we actually get some Dark Magician support, that could be pretty good. Squib draw. Nope, we don't play Rockets, but this would be great. UA Stadium. Uh, too bad we're not uh, watching My Hero Academia right now. Lightning Rod Lord. Not bad. Uh, it just basically prevents our opponents from like doing anything with spells during main one. Which, kind of good actually if you think about it. A lot of cards, decks do revolve around spells during main one. Uh, Tensu. An additional normal summon. That's fine. Cat Shark. Uh, no, we can't really use Cat Shark unfortunately. The Blue Flame Swordsman! Not bad. Uh, this card is destroyed. Uh, it can banish this target of fire. Uh, if we actually could just special summon a fire, he would be considerable. But unfortunately, it has to be a warrior type. Metaphose Fusion. <laughs> if we had some of the other pieces, this would be so much better. But we don't. We, we just don't. We just don't. That's okay. Alright, so... Uh, moving on to our bonus legacy packs. We got four of them. Ooh, we got an SR right off the bat. Potentially. Potentially. One, two, three, four. Go. Royal Surrender. Continuous. <laughs> nah, no. Foolish Return? Uh, no. It's way too situational, unfortunately. Feels called by the grave. Oh, probably. But this is one's a little bit more situational. Sand Gambler, uh, toss three coins. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, no, unfortunately. I'm not good with RNG, as you can tell, clearly. No, no, he's got a point. Giant Scorpion of the Tundra. I'm consi- <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. Do the Lightning Bolts actually mean anything? Or is it just aesthetic? A luminous R Dragon Ritual, dead weight. Uh, I mean, Earthbound Wave's kind of cool, but it's a little bit situational. We don't have any Earthbound Immortal Monsters. Not good. Not good. 
One, uh, we'll go for this side. Key Mace! <laughs> Yo, classic DM. Minoman Suntor. Uh, cannot be special summon. You can chip this card. Special summon two. Oh. Huh. Oh, it's a level, it's a level six. It's an earth monster. Oh, it can't be special summon. Damn it. I was about to say we can use Venusera for it, but unfortunately that won't work because it, as you can, as we can read, it says it can't be special summon. <sighs> That's okay. Uh, honestly, I'm not really too set at anything from the legacy packs. Um, we'll look into the doing some deck edits. I think I'm going to hold off on using Lightning Rod Lord just because we kind of need to use some of these during our, like, because they're some of our wind conditions, right, with the equips. So we're going to hold off a little bit. If it becomes more prevalent, that would be more beneficial, then yeah, we'll consider adding it. But for now, we're just going to keep the deck as it is. Ooh, yo, that field actually looks pretty sick. Uh, Dimension, ooh, good combo. Dimension Slice and Prayer of the Jerai Gumo. I like it. I like it. And of course, we have the Heat Wave and the Super Heavy Samurai Blue Brawler. So we actually do have things. Foolish Burial right off the bat. 1545. Interesting. Uh, they're playing... Oh, Photons. Mmm, this could be rough. This could be a little brutal, but we'll see what actually happens. I'm thinking we might put some of the traps in these... Orientation. So we can get the most benefit from uh, Sour Scheduling and a Prayer. Pay 2,000, target one of your Graveyard Special Summon, both it and one Galaxy Monster with the same level, both in defense. Oh, interesting. Oh, they're going for Wizard, too. Does it negate the effects? Yeah, it does negate the effect. Okay. Galaxy Photon Dragon! Sure, that's fine. Uh, oh, okay, so it's basically a Rota or a Foolish. Got it. Kind of has, like, some Utopia vibes, just from the, like, the yellow-blue aesthetics. Galaxy Soldier, sure, that's fine. Really fucking wish I went first, by the way. Really fucking wish I went first. Yep, Galaxy Soldier's good. They'll search out maybe another Galaxy Soldier. Uh, it becomes level 8? Yo, that's pretty poppin'. Because now they can just search out for another Galaxy Soldier and it becomes level 8. And this isn't limited to just a once per turn. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can always each of the following effects once per turn. Okay, so this is going to be a level 8. But it doesn't mean they can't summon something else that could just become a level 8 easily. Uh, orbital. Add another. F God damn, they have so much utility for searching. It's insane, honestly. Galaxy Eyes has definitely come a long way since I. Play the deck. Two hours later. Uh, you can target a photon or galaxy in your graveyard. Special summon it. Remember when we actually played Clerk for a little bit? Man, that was so long ago. They don't have enough of the on summon effects, so that's kind of good. So they have plenty of fours and an eight. I'm assuming they can just go for a Galaxian or something for an XC summon and then summon an a, uh, oh, they're gonna go for a Link. Oh, special summon, got it. Ah, uh, that makes sense too. So, yep, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon is live, sure. Uh, Afterglow, looks pretty sick actually. Uh, this is detached to actually the effect you can take a Galaxy Photon mirror. <laughs> that is really good. Then you get the W. Oh, that is really good. A cipher. That is really good. Uh, you can target. Uh, you can't pack balls. Why do we have fucking? <laughs> Why do we have uh, needle wall or needle ceiling? Yep. I uh, can detach your opponent. Cannot target cards. You control the card effects until the end of the opponent's next turn. Yep. So they're protected. During your standby phase, you can get a. Yep. They're gonna special summon another galaxy eyes. Sure. Uh, anybody want to throw me a Max C? Two hours later. Type out Max C. It'll let me know that you made it this far in the video, and I appreciate you. But also, thank you for giving me a Max C to try to believe that we can do something in this game. 
Uh, because materials, it cannot be destroyed by card of fuck. <laughs> Galaxy Eye Soul Flare Dragon. Uh, target and add it to your hand. You can take your opponent to be discord. Then target one special summon your. Oh, so I can destroy special summon stuff. Got it. Uh, negate that monster's effect and destroy it. It has, of course, and it has Galaxy, so sure. Hmm. During your opponent's turn, you can take one and at what the fuck, Lord Galaxy Lord, jeez, bruh, that is actually pretty good. Uh, because they could just use the effects and yeah, just you know, ba 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 da bing. All right, I mean they kind of establish a, you know, pretty good board. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. So Gumo is not gonna go. Let's see, he's already kind of done a bit of his utility, so. I think we'll go for this one. We should have used Heat Wave. We're so fucking good at this game, by the way. Uh, we'll put this here. This here. <laughs> I'm basically telegraphing, bro. I have I have plays. I have plans. Oh man, this is just. Uh... <laughs> we really should have used the Heat Wave. That's my fault. Uh, because you have to use this at the very start, which. It, it, it's, it's fine because it'd be ridiculous if you could just like use it um, and then like set up your plays, right? Photon Emperor, what do you do? Uh, discard set of the nose. I mean, they're going to discard a card anyway to be able to activate an effect, right? So that's a, kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, because they're use Photon Emperor to special summon after they pitch the yeah, galaxy, sure. Okay, um, so first, we'll do this. Get rid of this, buddy. This is gonna bounce it back. No, we're not gonna use Gumo yet, because it's not gonna, because we wanna have this resolve first and get rid of that, so we can start destroying stuff. Uh, sure. This card is, uh, yeah, because special summon something, sure. This is gonna become level eight. I mean, might as well just use the um, Prayer of the Jirai Guma now, too, so we can be able to pop off the Galaxy Photon Dragon. I mean, it's still going to activate the effect, unfortunately, but at least we get a monster on the board, and it kind of, like, just gets rid of it. Uh, put it in defense position. Destroy card, yes. Oh, we should have waited because we could have used Dimension Slice a little bit more effectively. Hmm. I mean, we can still get rid of the Galaxy Eye Soul Flare Dragon, so I guess it's still something we can do. So we'll have to do this after, like, all the chains resolve. Oh, shit, it's when. Does that mean we're going to miss timing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> I forgot about that. I'm not a ruling expert, but, yep, I uh, probably should have waited a little bit before I uh, <laughs> saw that it said when. Make sure you read your cards, folks. Hope Harpinger. And honestly, even Prey... Unfortunately, the Prey of the Jirai Guma thing isn't going to work anyway, because it's not the last thing to happen, since it's going to pop a card, too. They're still going. Galaxy Eyes, number 62, Photon Prime Dragon. Uh, when a post monster declares an attack, you can skip your next battle phase, special summons from yeah, this card is sent to my graveyard. Oh, that's still pretty good. Yeah, I was about to say, they're just going to link it away and get a search. SP Little Knight. Oh, yeah, this got introduced into the game not too long ago. That's right. Oh, that's actually pretty good. They had to go for our blue brawler. All right, writing's on the wall. We're good. Uh, because honestly, the Blue Brawler probably could have held us off for a little bit, but that thing being banished, I'm like, no, there's no way. There's no way. I'm sorry. Totally awesome. Next game, though. For, like, the Dragon Maid game, that was still pretty fun. The fact we were just, like, able to OTK them, essentially. Third-rated Duelist. Do they have a fourth-rate deck? <laughs> probably not. Okay. This, look, this is definitely looking pretty optimistic, unless they're playing Monarchs. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, no monsters? Ah, uh, that is kind of brutal. There's, like, no value, honestly. 
I guess we could do, I mean, we have some things we could do, right? Like, uh, we could play the Clockwork Knight just as like a thing to passively lower their monster stats. And if it ends up getting destroyed, sure, fine. We could discard, um, oh wait, we can't discard him because he's not a machine. It's still just something good. And we also had the Fog Blade just be able to negate effects. So, sure. I'm actually pretty happy with a few copies of the Fog Blade because Fog Blade is just pretty universal. They are pulling Monarchs more than likely because this just gives them additional tributes on it. Okay, uh, yeah, I can't do anything with that. Fortress Warrior! I used to play the hell out of this thing back, like, when I, before I got, like, the competitive scene a little bit. Not bad. Can't be destroyed by battle. It's a level 2 warrior natively, so you can use it for other stuff. Mobius. Um, yeah, I can't... I... I can't afford to lose the Clockwork Knight. Especially since um, we have Clockwork Knight and yeah, considering they use this amount of resources for Mobius, as long as I have Mobius the bigger one, then we're fine. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't gonna be very beneficial for us because they're gonna be doing a lot of normal summoning anyway. Uh, give me Venusaurus. Spearholder ain't bad. That's not a bad card at all. It'll also ship you to get a different equips. Um, we could do Automatous Action Unit. Take the Fortress Warrior. Then tribute it. I mean, that's one thing we could do. Then we could summon the Bear Rock Dragon to start steamrolling over the opponent. He'll be at 28. So, I mean, that is something we could look into doing. So, we'll Normal Summon. And then we can also put him back to the front, too. Just so we have actually something we could do. Uh, so, yeah. Throw that over there. We'll tribute. Yeah, we'll go for that. Just so we can be able to get Bear Rock or just like have some other stuff too. I know we could use the back of the front later on, but I kind of want to use that for bringing back Bear Rock during end phase if something goes awry. Um, we won't take battle damage from attacks involving this card. I don't mind taking a bit more damage if they have something else, so it's fine. I just hope they don't start drawing like stuff like Tenacity of the Monarch or the Prime or whatever they can do. Or Pantheism, that's what it's called. Double Summon. Uh, we'll, we'll see what they're doing first. Don't get me wrong, I actually do like the old school Monarchs. Pretty solid. Destalos, the Firestorm, shit. Um, yes! That was, that was like the hopeful card. That was like the hopeful card. Huh. Please don't have like the higher tier version of him, please. Please, just, just don't. Just don't. Caius, fuck! <sighs> oh. Yeah, that's not so bad. I mean, I'm not thrilled about it. Because now we can't get over it. Well, actually, wait a minute. We can. We'll just have to take the damage, but yeah, we could technically get over this, actually. I'm fine with that. Do it. Because we'll use back to the front, and then we'll tribute off him to get a different equip or something. It's fine. Uh, so, end phase, we're going to use back to the front. We'll bring him back, and we'll use this from a tribute effect. Because, honestly, the fact they're using so many resources and just getting out Caius and stuff like that, it, it's fine. Ooh, Sour Scourging. Not bad. Not bad, actually. Uh, we'll throw that in the middle column, because it seems like that's just where they've been doing all their stuff. Okay, so we'll Tribute off Spear Holder. Um, I think Staff might be the only logical option at this point, because Megamorph will only get like one real good use out of it, then it'll put us in a weird position. Uh, uh, we'll go with Staff of Despair. We'll go with Staff of Despair, I suppose. Uh, we're gonna set... Yeah, that's good. We'll set the Vinegar right there. We'll then use the Atomitus Action Unit. I think we're gonna take Mobius. <laughs> Mobius sounds fun. I guess also if they have, like, any reoccurring things. Um, shit. Uh... <laughs> that's a problem uh it, it, it's fine i don't think it's going to like really get to the problem where this will be an issue 
honestly. Because they need stuff to tribute, right? And I'm not seeing that happening. Uh, we're then going to use Archbeam Staff of Despair. Reduce it down to 12. And then we'll swing over and get the 12 in. So many equips. I, I, I love it. This is starting to remind me of like Forbidden Memories more and more. It's fine. Oh, yo, let's, let's go. Uh, give me a uh, Battle Wasp, please. Nope, I would not like that. At least so we can use Bear Rock if they get rid of Mobius for whatever reason. Because it does have to hit our grave, but we can just keep pecking him for Mobius. They already used Card Advance too, so I think they still know what they're technically drawing for about one or two more turns. I'm just hoping they're not using like um, the newer like level, the Squires, right? Because that'll easily be able to get them to special summon really quickly. Sweet. Please, give me a really good boy. Ah, Goiba's not bad at all. Goiba is not bad at all. It'll actually get us them down to 300. So sure, we'll do it. It also gets us one step closer to Plasma if that actually becomes a thing. You know? <clears throat> And honestly, this is actually really good too, because even if we have to use a sour scheduling, uh, we still have Goiba to be able to like, you know, bounce stuff back if it comes down to it. Yeah, I think this is the last turn they probably know what they're drawing from card advance. But considering they haven't done anything, it doesn't seem like it's a really good amount. Yo, Samsara Kaiser. That's actually kind of a cool dude. I mean, it kind of reminds me of, like, uh, Alphonse from uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Hey, respect, respect. Uh, no, sure, go for it. That's fine. Got to respect before they do that. If I'm going down, I'm going down on my own accord. All right, cool. Uh, GG. Bronze 2. We are really climbing up this tonight, so let's go. And one legacy pack. And now we go to our packs. First, we're going to start off with the Master Pack. Uh, please, something good. It's uh, an SR, apparently. We shall see if that's actually a good one, though. All right, we're going to start from the left or the right. The Wicked Eraser. Uh, I mean, considering the fact that this thing is actually... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a board wipe. Uh, with the links being a thing, he could get pretty high up there. I mean, honestly, I'm not against putting him in there. Uh, way too specific. Dread Servant. Interesting. Virtual World. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any virtual worlds. Uh, gains a thousand defense during the battle. Oh. Oh, both players. Hmm. So, Soul Bang Cannon could be interesting. Um, if we get any more, like, Super Heavy Samurais, we could actually technically put this in there. Uh, oh, it's during the battle phase. Hmm. Because, I mean, if we could actually destroy all the monsters and just, like, you know, get a thousand in, that'd be pretty good. Uh, per monster destroyed, right? Oh. By its own effect, if you activate a trap or effect, your opponent activates special in the center of your hand. Place some... Uh, I mean, I like its stat line, don't get me wrong. We can special summon this pretty easily, too, if we have, like, a Gumo or something like that. It's an Earth, so it does have a... Yeah, maybe. We'll consider it. Crusadia Reclusia. Uh, I don't think... We don't do a whole lot of Link Summoning. Do we have a lot of, like, Crusadia stuff? Until now! No, I was just fucking with you all. Metaphose Vanisher. I guess the universe is telling me to play Metaphose. Uh, it's a scale of one. Not bad. Uh, if monster controls are by card effect, you can add a metal. Oh, it recurs stuff from the grave. Uh, especially some of this from your hand. 2,900 stats. Gosh dang, that's pretty good. Uh, and then this card is special summoned by effect, even if itself. Banish it. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, if I guess you get some more metaphos, that might be a contender. Especially if you go for like a pendulum route. So, who knows? Uh, not opposed to that actually, too. My god, that was actually an interesting pack. 
And now for our legacy pack. Uh, magic cylinder would be nice. Dark spirit of the silent. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, I don't think this is actually... Okay. Uh, it's a little bit too situational. But it's not terrible. Oh, that's adorable. The scar is destroyed by opponent's card effects into the graves in the top. And if it's small... Oh, man. That is so bad for our deck. So, no, that's fine. Um, honestly, I'm not really feeling the flow on any, any of those cards. So, I think we're going to press hard. There's, like, cards we're getting that's, like, potentially good. It just depends if we start getting more and more things that kind of, like, synergize. Oh, I like their sleeves. Penguin! Oh, this is actually pretty brutal of an opening hand, actually. Um, but we got to play through it, right? We got to play through it. We'll set the Penguin, because, unfortunately, Battle Boss doesn't really do a whole lot of things. Being special summon, it restricts our extra deck, and it won't be equipable with these. Uh, so yeah, uh, summon penguin, and then we hope for the best. Yep, another Dragon Maid player. Uh, this is a uh, Foolish Burial Goods. Oh, no, it's a Stratos. Oh, no, 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 it's uh, basically a Searcher for Spells and Traps, I'm sorry. Still, pretty good card, actually. Did they go for Hospitality? Yeah, they went for Hospitality. I, unfortunately, cannot do Jack shit for that. Another one. Ooh, that's rough, buddy. That's rough, buddy. Because I mean, wouldn't they want to summon a different one? Or yeah, I feel like they would probably want to summon a different one. Oh, Nakuto Vision Dragon. Okay. This is sent to the graveyard as a link material. You get to draw a card. Not bad. Okay, I'm not really too concerned about its effect, but the summon effect and then like um, draw one is still pretty good. I mean, technically, you could kind of work at this with Red Eyes, because it's a level 7 Dragon Dark. Uh, I mean, but I don't think Red Eyes does a whole lot of, like, linking, unless you, like, go the link route. Heretic Seal of the Heavens. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah, they're going to draw a card. So they can even use it on its... Does it still get the effect if it's attributed by its on its own effect, or because it's no longer the field, this part doesn't resolve? Because I mean, if they can just uh, tribute itself, bounce something, and then summon something like Red Eyes Darkness Metal or something, that'd be pretty brutal. Oh shit, the beast deals too. Yeah, that's uh, pretty good. That is actually pretty good. You know what? If we could actually start pulling the bestials in the master pack, if that's even possible, I would not be opposed to that at all. These things are just really easy to fucking get out. Like, really easy. It's pretty good. We have the penguin. I, we don't really have any good targets either to like bounce back, honestly. We really don't. <laughs> uh, we really don't have any good targets. Ew. So we're going with this one. It'll save us some light point damage a little bit, but also we don't have to worry about them sending something to the grave because uh, this effect for the whatever is much easier for them to resolve versus this one. Or no, like, it'll be more, yeah, it'll be more painful for us, whatever. Okay. The rule. Waybridge. That's not bad, actually. We have a penguin in the grave. No earth. Ah, I don't like this one bit. Hmm. Because I don't want to play the Battle Wasp just yet. Shoot. Why did they go for Chambermaid? They could have gotten a search then at that point. When they Are they going to trigger or tag the effect to... Like a quick play the effect, right? Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Because they can just tribute itself. 
Um, or that in the hand too, yeah. And then they can just bounce. Can they technically bounce back the tiding? Oh, no, they're gonna go for Chambermaid. Got it. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so they have her in hand. So they can get a normal summon for a search for a spell. They could probably go for another hospitality or um, changeover, maybe, or something else. This is good. Yeah, with the bestial package, it's definitely going different than what we had to expect the last time we were playing against this deck in the previous duel. There's a hospitality. Yup. And they can send another one. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, I can't really do anything on that. They only have the one card in hand, though, yeah? Do these guys have, like, contact fusion or no? So they're going to go to battle. Yeah, they didn't have any things. Do these, uh... No, they don't send them away anywhere. Uh, it's going to return, I think, the Tinkek? Oh, okay, her, sure. That makes more sense so we can get more searching. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that is definitely a thing. That is definitely a thing. Still can't get over it, but we do have some more back row we can just use. Um, 2,700, okay, so I think we actually do have to be a bit more aggressive here at this point. Um, so we're going to summon our Wasp, we're going to give it the Bashing Shield. Have the monsters attack. Okay, cool. So we could technically get over this since we could use um, the battle wasp with everything else. Because uh, staff works for its current. So it's going to lose down to 15. So we could actually swing over both. All right. So go to combat. We're going to swing over. Yeah, that's what I want to do. We'll swing over this first. And then we'll swing over that second. So we know they have a chambermaid in the hand. So they'll summon, get a search for something. So we might have to use the Candidia on whatever they potentially summon using its card. And then aside from that, I don't believe we know what the other have in the hand. And if they try to extend, then we have the Waybridge. Yep, kind of expecting that. That's fine. No, go for it. It's not going to negate the effect, so what's the point? Crossover or changeover. That's kind of good, actually. Yeah. Because if they use it, oh, they're just going to go to. Oh, yeah, they can tag out in a sense, right? Uh, fusion summon. Mm. No, not yet. Not yet. Twenty-seven. Now we'll do it. If we can get to another equip, uh, we might be able to squeak out a win, just depending on what they end up doing. This defense is seventeen, so we could still get over it regardless. Yeah, the main two. And this one doesn't have anything. There's that one. Okay. So crossover, sure. We still have the Staff of Despair, so that's still something we could potentially use to get over it, depending on what they actually bust out. Shit, it's actually 35. Uh, during your standby phase, when your opponent activates a card, you can make it pay off. Fuck. Destroy that card. Oh, that is actually really good. That is actually really good. Well, actually, technically. Mm. No, because they can negate it. I was thinking we could potentially use Waybridge if they get out two monsters from their standby phase and mine. But fuck, fam. Uh, the roll. Back to the front. Uh, that's not good. So I guess ultimately it didn't really matter too much because, well, 
No, we probably should have used the Book of Moonlight effect on Chambermaid. Because then it wouldn't have gotten to this effect and then, yeah. So we probably should have booked that. So that's my mistake, unfortunately, for not catching that. Okay, so... Kowalski, now that's this. Alright, so... We try to do anything. We can attack over Dragon Maid. Sure, they special summon something back. They... We try to attack. Uh, we'll try just playing the Waybridge. Um... We're just gonna attack. Right? Are they gonna bring back the... Shit, they are. Okay. Um... That's not good. Because we can't destroy it. It's an Allison attack position. We'll look at a third monster. We might be able to try to bait back to the front to banish... Um, kitchen, whatever it's called. Yeah. House kitchen, whatever it was called. Oh, house dragon maid. My apologies. I think, uh, <laughs> seeing one of the other ones just threw me off for a second. Yeah, there it is. All right. Yep. So we're going to do that. They'll have three. So Waybridge will be live, but we're going to wait so we could for them to hit the ground and then we'll try to use uh, back to the front. Hopefully see if we can bait it out. I doubt they will try to do it. Waybridge. Target. Uh, do they have a response? I'm hoping they do. Oh shit! No! Not go by the grave! Oh no! That is terrifying. I guess we'll just get House Mitchin out of the way. Or House Dragon Maid, sorry. Yeah, they're gonna do that. Uh, this ain't good. This ain't really good at all. So I think tra tra House Dragon Maid is like, what, 3k? Yeah. Oh wait, we're shit. We're still in the standby phase. Fuck, I didn't realize that until now. So can Dragon Maid actually trigger since we're still technically in the field? If it is, I'm just gonna scoop now. <laughs> they have so much ahead of us now at this point, so I'm even gonna. Yeah, they could just. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so bad. <laughs> I forgot about. That. Well, I mean, I didn't really remember that, so that's fine. All right, that's that's fine. You know what? We had fun games. I'm cool with it. Ah, <sighs> I feel you. Totally awesome. But with that being said, until next time.